Hello and welcome to this video on how to navigate through an Admentum course. First, go to login.admentum.com. Once there, enter your account name, username, and password. Your account name will always be Treka. After that, click Login. After logging in, you will land on your home screen. Here, we can see all of the courses the student is actively enrolled in. To access your coursework, click on the course that you would like to work on. Admentum lessons are self-guided. However, it is recommended that you work through the lesson modules in order. Across the top of the page, you will see some helpful information. You will see a current grade and a course grade. The current grade shows only the average of all assignments that the student has completed so far. The course grade shows the average of all required assignments and will include a 0% score for each of the assignments not yet completed. Remember that any course that does not meet all requirements will show as an incomplete on the transcript even if the current and or course grade shows as passing. The progress bar indicates what percentage of the course you have attempted. Please note that it does not reflect how many modules you have mastered with the 80% mastery score. You might need to review tutorials and retake mastery tests multiple times before you have mastered the modules and everything in the course is marked green. There is a bar displaying the color coding for the lessons. You will notice that all of the lessons are color coded based on completion. Most courses have three introductory links or documents which typically include the syllabus, helpful information, and course resources. Please review these documents since they include very helpful tips as well as our expectations for students during the session. As you select one of the documents, it will open up into a new window. If it does not open, please check your pop-up blocker settings because your pop-up blocker may be blocking it from opening. After you click on the document, click play, read through the document, exit out of the document. Please confirm you have completed this activity by clicking yes. After you have reviewed the resource pages and syllabus, you are ready to start working on the course. For this example, we are looking at an Algebra 1A course. Like most courses, this is divided up into units. To open up a unit, click on show. If a module is marked gray, it has not been started. If a module is marked blue, the lesson is still in progress. If a module is marked gold, the lesson is completed, but not mastered. If the module is marked green, the lesson is completed and mastered. The first thing you will want to do is take the unit pretest if the course has one. Once you have taken the pretest, it may exempt you from some lessons. Any exempt lessons will be marked with an E and a blue star. Exempt lessons can be skipped and will go in the gradebook with a 100% score for the lesson. Please note that you may still want to review the lesson content for the exempt lessons since it will be included in the unit post test and the end of semester test. Since the pre, post, and end of semester tests can each only be taken once, it is best to wait until all assignments in the unit or course are successfully mastered and are green before taking the unit, post, and semester tests. Although all assignments are available throughout the course, it is typically best to work in order except for those Dropbox assignments which should be started early in the course. Please note that only the physical education and purchased English courses have Dropbox assignments. The Dropbox assignments must earn at least a 60% score. While some lessons will look different, most of our lessons will be set up the same way. You will have a tutorial, which will present the material, then you might have a practice test or an application, and then you will have a mastery test to take. Most lessons include a tutorial. In a blue bar on the left-hand side of the page are tools and features to help with the tutorial shown on this algebra lesson. There is a key for the tools you may see. Select each icon to view the specific tool. The resource icon will often include guided notes for you to complete during the lesson to better help you understand the lesson content. If available, it may be helpful to download the guided notes to your computer and open from there. You will see that the guided notes are fillable forms. If you prefer, you can print the guided notes and fill them in with a pen or pencil. Students are strongly encouraged to use the tools available with your lessons. 
The tutorial will present the material through text, images, audio, video, sample questions, and answers. As you work through the material, you will take notes which will help you on the mastery test. If you have to exit the tutorial while working on it, you can click the Save and Exit button. Then, when you come back into the tutorial, you will be able to pick up where you left off. To move to the next lesson, you click the Next Activity. To move to the previous lesson, you can select Previous Activity. To get back to the course homepage, you can select Close at any time. Note that after the tutorial is completed, the tile turns green and it is checkmarked. You can then complete any application or practice test, if one is included, and then attempt the mastery test. Some courses have writing assignments to submit into drop boxes, such as our physical education and purchased English courses. If you are working on one of these courses, you will find the assignment directions in the drop boxes in a separate folder. For information on accessing and submitting assignments to drop boxes, please view the drop box video. It's always best to get started on the Dropbox assignments early and to contact your advisor early in your session if you have any questions about these assignments. Even though the progress bar will count lessons that you have fully attempted, if a lesson is marked with any other color than green, that means that you are not done with this lesson yet and will not earn credit for the course until all lessons are mastered, even if the progress bar shows 100% complete. Each mastery test requires a score of 80% or higher. If you attempt but don't master a mastery test, you will want to go back through the tutorial and make sure that you have covered all of the material well in your notes. If there is a practice test or application, you can review and retake it again as well. When you go through the entire tutorial again, the mastery test will unlock to allow you another attempt. You can review the tutorial and retake the mastery test as many times as needed until you master it. Note that after the mastery test is mastered, the test will have a gold star and the tile will turn green. Also, students are not graded on the tutorials, practice, or applications and can go through those as many times as needed to prepare for the mastery test. At any time, you can click on the Home button at the top of the page and it will take you back to your home page to view and access all active courses. If you have any questions as you work on your course or would like to verify that all requirements have been met, please contact your advisor. If you have any technical issues, please contact the help desk. Students and parents will want to verify that all assignments in all units and folders are green. To earn credit for the course, not only must the progress bar for the course show 100% complete, but every assignment in every unit and folder must show as green, and additionally, for physical education and purchased English courses, the Dropbox assignment must earn at least a 60% score. Courses that do not meet all requirements will be marked as I incomplete, zero credit. If you think you have met all requirements, please contact your advisor or flex at treka.org for verification. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to navigate an Admentum course. Good luck and thank you for taking a Treka Flex course.